Hello, so at the moment Rails is working on a new authentication generator and so far they have added a possibility for users to create a generator to create the users and sessions and allow users to log in via an email and password. And in the previous episode we implemented this solution based on this pull request in a new Ruben Rails application. So it looks like this. I have a home page that is accessible to anybody. I have a dashboard page that is accessible to only logged in users and I can log in as an existing user. So I log in and here I am logged in. I can visit uh, the dashboard page and I can sign out. I cannot visit the dashboard page anymore. And uh, again, this uh, pull request does not uh, give us uh, a possibility to actually create a user. So to register, it only allows uh, already registered users that have an uh, email and password to sign in if the email and password combination is uh, valid. And let's uh, add the uh, registrations uh, to this application to make the solution actually more uh, viable in a real application. So at the moment we have uh, our sessions controller that was created by the generator and let's create a registrations controller to allow users to actually sign in. So I will copy the sessions controller. I will name it uh, registrations controller registrations uh, in the roots I will uh, create the resource registration and I will actually say only uh, we are going to have only a new and uh, create action and for the resource session we will have uh, uh, at the moment we have like all the actions we will have only uh, new create and destroy this way we will not have uh, roots for uh, controller actions that do not actually exist. Okay, so in the new, we will uh, allow uh, unauthenticated access to new and create, same as in the sessions controller. Um, this looks good. In the create action, instead of user authenticated by, we are going to use uh, user.new. Uh, so we'll have, let's say, user equals user.new params permit email address and uh, password and we will have if uh, user.save start new session redirect to sign signed up uh, else redirect to new session url uh, with an alert uh, uh, yeah let this be the alert message for now let's uh, see if this works let's now go and uh, create a new view uh, to let users register a new form so uh, we have our sessions new and in similar fashion we're going to create registrations new registrations And here in the new view, the only difference is going to be we're going to submit the form not to the session URL, but to the registration URL, email password, sign up. And let's see if this uh, works. So uh, I have the server running. I will uh, go to not sessions new, but the registrations new. Yeah, it should be registration, not plural. Okay, and here I have this form, email and password. Let's try to create a user. Sign up. And uh, I seem to have signed up successfully. Okay, it uh, seems to be working. Let's try uh, adding the links to sign in and sign up uh, in the nav bar. So I will go to our application HTML. Here I will uh, add the link to sign in uh, new session path sign up new registration path okay we have the links to sign in and sign up uh, let's uh, try signing uh, in as the user that we have recently created it works i can visit the dashboard page i will click on sign in and sign up and you see these pages are also accessible and this is uh, not very nice uh, we are actually authenticated but we still can visit the sign in and sign up pages and if you have a look at our sessions controller or our registrations controller it happens because uh, we have allow unauthenticated access for the new action and this unauthenticated is not defined it is nil so to make the sign in and sign up uh, 
actually unaccessible and for to make this line work uh, in the um, uh, for send in users we would need to add uh, another uh, before action uh, before action that would be let's open authentication dot rb so we have this require authentication that we are skipping with the uh, saying allow authenticated access uh, but we need to actually say resume session so that we try to find a user if there is one uh, for the new action so i will say before action uh, require what was the name uh, resume session resume session and only for uh, for the new action so in registrations controller and the same in the sessions controller so now I will refresh and you see I'm redirected to the root page so no more the send in and send up pages uh, they're not accessible to send in users anymore let's uh, hide them in the views so if authenticated we will not show these I will put them behind an else uh, statement Okay, authenticated users do not have the visibility of the sign in and sign up links. Let's uh, try to sign out, uh, sign up as the user that we already have created the, in the application. And we have this SQLite unique constraint failed uh, message. So we are validating the email uniqueness in the database. Uh, here it is. We are validating the email uniqueness, but we are not validating it in the uh, model. That's why we get this error. So I will go to the user model and uh, I will add some validations. I will say validates email uh, address unique ness true uh, presence true. Okay, let's try once again. I will try to input this user details and we get this. Uh, yeah, it is in try. Okay, let's try once again. I missed something. So signing up as a user that already exists. Yeah, I get this try another email or password error because in registrations control, we did not, did not customize our errors. So let's say messages two sentence. Let's try once again. Okay, it was sign in. Let's uh, try sign up as a user that uh, already exists. And we get this error, email address has been taken. So errors are rendered correctly. And just in case uh, for the backend uh, validation, we should maybe also validate the format of the email. So we can say something like format. And in the format we will have with the uh, and then there, there is this helper. Let's try opening it. It would be URI uh, mail to email regex. So we're going to validate with this email regex. This way we can be more sure that the email address provided is uh, good. Let's again try creating a new user. Uh, yeah, I don't see whether we are in the sign in or sign up. Let's maybe add this in the views. I will go to new registration. Here I will say h1 uh, create an account. Uh, in new session, I will have another h1 sign in. Okay, so here create an account. Creating an account. It works, I'm signed up. I will uh, visit dashboard, it works. I will sign out, I will go to sign in as this account, it works. Now again, as the same account, I will try to create an account with the same email and password. And I get this email address has already been taken, error. So everything looks uh, good. And uh, this way we have kind of implemented uh, uh, both uh, sign in and sign up functionality into our application now one last thing i don't like is the flash messages they're scattered all around i will remove them from the views 
and put them uh, in the shared layout. So here I will have the alert and notice color green for notice, red for alert. Not putting a lot of mind into this, just a quick solution. Okay, now we don't have the alerts uh, anymore in our views. We have them in a shared location. So one final time, uh, yeah, this, you see, if we don't, we have like flash rendered in two places, we, we will have it just in one place. Let me refresh, sign uh, up. Okay, flash is rendering nicely. So everything seems to be working. Okay, thanks for being with me and see you in the next one.